Hello everyone, it's me, Mr. Daryl, and it's story time. Shall we see what story we have today? Today's story is called The Very, Very, Very Long Dog. The Very, Very, Very Long Dog. And it's by this lady, Julia Patton. So let's see what happens in, in today's story. The very, very, very long dog. I think this will be fun. We can't see the dog. This must be part of the dog. This, this is Bartleby. Well, this is his bottom anyway. Bartleby's bottom. <laughs> Where's his head? Where's Bartleby's head? Well, he's a very, very, very long dog. Let's turn the page. Can we turn the page? Aha! Here is his front end. Hello! Hello, Bartleby. Bartleby is a very, very, very long sausage dog who's lucky enough to live in this beautiful old bookstore. Ah, okay. So there, there's lots of different types of dogs. You can have, do, well, do you know any types of dogs? Maybe you have a dog at home. This is, Bartleby is a sausage dog. Sausage dogs are very, very long. What dog is very small? A chihuahua. Chihuahua is very small. You could have a, a dog with spots. Is a Dalmatian? Anyway, let's let's get back to the story. Bartleby is lucky enough to live in this beautiful old bookstore. That does look nice, that bookstore. Every day, Bartleby eats breakfast whilst reading his favorite books. Then his special friends take him for his morning walk around town. Ah, oh, so he likes to read. Bartleby loves his home, his walks and his friends. Life couldn't be any better. <laughs> I, like the, I like the lamp on his nose to help to read. Except Bartleby is so long. He's not always quite sure where his bottom is. <laughs> he can't see his bottom. Can, <laughs> can you see your bottom? <laughs> Bartleby is so long, he's not sure where his bottom is. His walks started out great. Oh, what's going to happen? But unfortunately, didn't always end so well. His friends tried their very best to help clean up the mess. Bartleby had no idea. So Bartle Bartleby didn't realize all the mayhem he's creating. Look, look, look what's happening. People are tripping over his bottom. This... This person on the bicycle is stuck. Oh no, but he doesn't realize, Bart Bartleby doesn't realize all the mess he's making and all the chaos because he's so long. Day after day, they carefully trotted across Main Street. So here they are, Bartleby and his friends going for a walk. I think trouble's ahead. What's going to happen? But his blundering backside caused a calamity. Oh, Bartleby! <laughs> Look at these taxi drivers. This is a taxi. They've crashed. Beep, beep. Yikes! 
Sorry. So when they were crossing the road, <laughs> his Bartleby caused a crash. Oh dear. They cautiously, sorry, they cautiously took a diversion around the construction site. So a construction site is where um, maybe people are building something. Do you think Bartleby will be safe to walk around here? Hmm, let's find out. But his bungling behind created even more chaos. Oh, Bartleby! Oh my, we're terribly sorry, said Bartleby's friend. Look what Bartleby did. What did he do? Can you see this sign? Can you read this sign? It says wet cement, wet cement. <laughs> uh, but Bartleby, he doesn't know where his bottom is. And he walked all over the wet cement. You can see, you can see his, should we call them dog prints? <laughs> Footprints, dog prints. And look at the builder. No, he'll have to start again to make new cement. Oh dear. What are we gonna do with Bartleby? One day, Bartleby's reckless rear made so much mayhem that not even his friends could fix it this time. Oh, Bartleby! <laughs> so what happened here? Bartleby was walking along, but let's find his bottom. Look at his bottom. He's made this, what's that everyone? Pizza? He's made this pizza boy fall over and then crash into the ladder. Oh, somebody must be painting. Can you see the paint? Oh no. The yellow paint has gone all over this man. Sorry, sir, said Bartleby's friends. <laughs> He's too long. Bartleby, you're too long. He keeps crashing into people. Bartleby heard yelling and shouting and turned back to investigate. He would get to the bottom of this and find the culprit. <laughs> so that's funny. But Bartleby turned around and he heard all the yelling and shouting and he thought, who is making all this trouble? <laughs> but he, he doesn't realize it's him. And this poor man has got yellow paint all over his clothes. Oh dear. <laughs> Look at this. What does Bartleby see? <laughs> he sees the person that made the mess. Or, or he sees he sees the bottom that made the mess. But, <laughs> but I think it's Bartleby's bottom. Look, look at his, he's going grrr. What's Bartleby going to do? <laughs> bite! Bite! He bit, he bit the bottom, but I think he bit his own bottom. Poor Bartleby realized that it was his very own bottom that had caused all the crashing and bashing, making everyone unhappy. Oh no, gulp, Bartleby says. Oh, poor Bartleby. How's he feeling now? How does Bartleby feel when he realized that it's his bottom that's making all the crashing and the bashing? He feels sad now. He ran all the way home and was so sad, he didn't even read his favorite bedtime story. But in brackets, it says he still ate his dinner. He vowed never to leave the bookstore again. Oh no, he's so sad. He, he doesn't want to leave the bookstore now because he's worried he might make more mess or, and, and cause more crashes. 
What shall we do to help Bartleby? Maybe his friends. Can his friends help him? Let's turn the page. See what happens. Bartleby's friends were heartbroken to see him so sad. They loved him just the way he was. They rummaged through all the bookshelves, searching for answers. So they got they, they went into the bookstore. Oh, I can't see that. That's too small. Maybe inventions, great inventions. This says knitting, knitting dogs. So they're doing some research. They're, they're, they're trying to find a way to help Bartleby. They concocted a most marvelous plan that just might make Bartleby feel better. They created a very special gift, a gift for Bartleby to help himself. Look, Bartleby, you've got a you've got a gift here. What could it be? Well, can, can you have a think? How how could you help Bartleby to stop all the crashing? He's, he still wants to go for a walk, but what could we do to help him stop crashing into people? Let's see what his friends made for him and see what's inside the gift. Ta-da! <laughs> Look at that. Look what they made. Look what they put on his button. It's like a... Um, it's like a warning sign. It says long vehicle, long vehicle. And it's very bright. It's bright yellow. So people can see his bottom. And the, there's a flashlight as well. <laughs> That's a good idea. Let, let's read what it says. Every day, Bartleby still eats breakfast whilst reading his favorite books. His special friends still take him for his morning walk around town. But now Bartleby is absolutely sure where his bottom is. Oh, so it's not just for people to see where his bottom is. It's for Bartleby to check where his bottom is as well. He can look around. He can look around and see where his bottom is because it's bright yellow. That's a really good idea. And his friends love him so much. They still want to take him for a walk. They don't want... They, they don't want to change him. They just want they just want to help him. That's what friends are for. Good friends. Oh, Bartleby! Ah, so this we're back to all the people that he crashed into, and they're all happy to see him. Look, the pizza boy is there. The pizza boy is waving. The builder at the construction site, and the the person on the bicycle and the taxi drivers. Everyone's happy to see Bartleby with his warning sign on his bottom. <laughs> and look, most of all, Bartleby's happy now as well. He can still go for his walks. Bartleby's walks started out great, but they didn't always end so well. But they do now, they do now, thanks to his friends. That's a brilliant story. All about the, what's it called? The the very, very long dog. <laughs> Bartleby the sausage dog. Everybody, thank you. Thank you for listening and reading the story with me. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.